So when traveling to the United States of America, so at this point you have finished your interview, your visa has been approved, you've probably picked up your passport already from wherever they asked you to pick it up from. Now you are getting ready to travel. What do you need to carry as you leave your African country or whatever country you're coming from? Now, if you're seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Rachel Agasha. I am an immigrant from Uganda. I won the DV lottery and that is how I am able to talk about it. I share from my experience entirely. If you have any questions about particular things, you leave them in the comment section. I reply to all my comments and if i don't have the right answer to your question i do some kind of research to make sure i'm giving you information that is reliable if you feel that whatever it is that i'm talking about in the in the video you cannot relate eh? you it does not resonate with you feel free to give us your opinion in the comment section please don't feel the need to attack me i'm only sharing from my experience and i won the dv in 2021 so probably a few things have changed here and there but we will we would really appreciate hearing from you as well so uh in today's video we're going to talk about the things that you need to carry now First of all, at this point, you definitely have a valid passport. You're definitely going to need that. Yeah. Now, after you finish doing your, your visa interview, yeah, and you go to pick your passport, normally they'll give it to you with a sealed envelope. Please don't. There's clear instructions on there of do not open this envelope. Now, what is in that envelope is practically all the documentation that you provided. So they make photocopies and when you get to the immigration um, port of entry, do not proceed with this envelope. That is where you leave this envelope because this is the information that they use to process your green card. So by the time you get to the port of entry, everyone has their envelope. So protect that envelope with your life. <laughs> you cannot lose that envelope and please don't be tempted to open that envelope get to the port of entry give your envelope to the immigration officer often time they'll ask you to which address do you want us to send your green card in my situation i had two different addresses but they sent my green card to the address that i provided so provide an address where you know you will be able to access your green card yeah so that is the one thing that you need to carry. You need to have, of course, your valid passport and you need to have that envelope. Now, you will need to also have your medical records. Please carry every document that has your name on it. <laughs> every document, all your academic transcripts. Because, yeah, when you get here, you're going to have to apply for jobs. And when you ask, when you apply for jobs, they're definitely going to ask for your cv they're going to ask for your academic documents so you need to have all these things and i advise that you have them scanned and you have um a soft copy and a hard copy because believe it or not there are very many chances that you can actually lose these documents yeah as you are moving from one place to another there are very many chances that your luggage is going to get lost please keep all your documents in your hand luggage you don't want to put your documents in the luggage that the cargo luggage because those get lost a lot and you might not be sure when or if you would even ever get your luggage again so keep all your documents with you like everywhere you go you know all of your academic documents your medical records um those documents that you got from the embassy the ds260 form confirmation page have everything on you yeah now one of the most important things that you're probably going to ignore and not think about is a power bank because believe it or not you're going to the moment you get out of africa everything changes the sockets are different um the charges are different so you're going to be moving around with your charger and you're not going to get a spot to charge your phone so please please and please carry a power bank because that journey is long depending on where you're going it's 14 plus hours those are very many hours for you to be sitting on a plane or uh, because with all these stopovers you're definitely going to need to use your phone so i recommend that you have a power bank so that you're able to communicate with whoever it is that is going to be picking you up or whoever it is that you're supposed to be meeting up with or even keep you entertained because 
it is definitely going to be a long journey in my situation yes i kept thinking oh my fun is good blah 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 but then by the time i reached my destination i had a one percent battery of like it would literally black out at any point yeah remember you're struggling to find internet also yeah that is another issue if there's a way you can have particular internet on you it's true that different airports have different uh wi-fi uh networks and everything that you can jump onto but if you can have your wi-fi if you cannot have a situation where you can easily have wi-fi on your phone please do yeah so the power bank is one crucial and important thing that i wish i had thought about before i actually left my home yeah then in terms of clothing and everything you see it is true very true that you cannot pack your whole life in a suitcase by the time i left school i had just finished campus and i had all these nice clothes of mine that i could not carry my nice shoes that i could not carry because your luggage or your the kilograms or the weight is limited i was um i only had 23 kgs for my one suitcase and another 23 and then my hand luggage so you can't you will need to prioritize and when you're prioritizing you want to be looking at things that i need like immediately hmm? if you have let's say if you live with um if you live with an illness or a chronic illness or whatever have as much medication as you can for like the first six months before because by the time you get here it is a whole system you might not be able to get your medication after in in a long time yeah so you want to have medication that is going to take you for a while until you settle and get into the system and then you're able to get this medication from wherever it is that you can get it from because when you get here you're going to need to get a doctor and then you know the one thing about this place unlike back home you don't just walk into a pharmacy and be like oh i need this medication no you need a prescription for practically everything okay not everything but for most of the important or should i say big medication yeah so you're going to need to carry your medication from home to last you at least six months or three until you get into the system and then you can you know like enroll onto like a program or whatever so do not forget that do not come here thinking oh i'm going to get whatever it is from here because it is america yes it is america but the systems are kind of um bureaucratic and all that you need to go through this and you need to go through that so if you can carry your medication that can last your while please do that yeah then for clothes honestly if i will not lie i mean you're going to watch some videos where they'll say oh please carry your clothes from you okay from your country because clothes there are cheaper blah 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 i have lived here for a year when i came to this country i think i had like six okay six seven eight or ten yeah but i will not lie the clothes here first of all are cheaper yeah you need to hear me right i'll say it again they are cheaper now it all depends on what you do when you get here because as a dv lottery winner you will definitely get something to do because you have everything that you need to actually work in this country so no one is going to put you on um on a pedestal of, oh you know what no i don't have this no one thing that you need to understand is that you need to be able to be open-minded yeah you need to be open-minded because as you begin things are not going to work out for you as in at the very beginning no you're going to have to climb slowly by slowly we all have to begin somewhere i was lucky when i got here i think on my third day I had a job to do yeah now of course when we come from our african countries or when we come from our countries we are you know government officials we are lawyers we are doctors this country is going to humble you you know those things that you say oh no me i cannot do that or i can do that you will do it you will do it and you will do it well and you will make your money yeah, the one thing I want to be clear 
on as in very very clear if you've come from your country with a degree or a master's please please do not settle yeah we get here and then they'll tell you the one thing that you can do is you know in the health sector blah 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 no 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 because yes most of our people when they get here that is what they do i always want to say when you get here the person that hosts you will either make you or break you yeah because as a dv lottery winner you have the same rights as the american the born and raised american in this country so yes you can apply for these jobs yes you can walk into those companies and look and be like hey you know what this and this is what i am capable of doing please i am looking for a job you can do just about anything of course some jobs require that you have a particular level of education and of a time when we get here they need to evaluate this and that and that so when i came from my country i was a lawyer i had just graduated from law school and i got here and i was doing all these things no the the problem is we get comfortable because the money is there you are going to make money and <laughs> you're going to make money and then you're going to start thinking of settling no you need to keep your eyes on the goal keep your eyes on the goal because the things that we do that we actually not that we do not love or the things that, that like that's not where you want to be so do not settle please do not settle do not settle yeah you have your goal and be like okay i'm going to do this for like i like five months because i remember when i was doing my first job i kept telling god i do not want to do this after this period and that was it yeah someone asked me to make a video of uh, what i was doing when i got here and if it is the same stuff that i was i am still doing hell no well what i was doing initially is not what i'm doing now i'm currently doing something that i love and i think i'll make a video about that but yeah do not settle yeah one thing i am telling you is do not cut yourself short you are as good as anybody else because you're here legally you're here legally and you can do just about anything you also have you are entitled to all the rights that these people have you get what i mean so if it is medication apply for those benefits it's food stamps apply for those benefits because they make your life easier also these things are very available all you need to do is know google just google google some of those things because most of those things are actually out there waiting for you to use them meanwhile so do not be afraid to apply for these jobs i applied for i think like 2000 jobs like every day i would throw my application left right center every day so you need to do that yeah then i was still talking about clothes when i deviated please don't carry all those things i mean just carry the things that you feel like oh i can't live without this don't feel the need to be pressured because you want okay let me just put it like this carry things that are going to take you through like the first three months because once you start to work and you start earning some money you're going to need you're going to need to transition because the weather here changes depending on when you come you're going to realize the clothes that you actually carried from uganda or wherever are not working for you and then you're going to need to transition like i said the clothes here are cheap and affordable do not go to these arcades and things and buying very expensive things because you're going to get you and be like what really yeah so the things that you want to carry are maybe food spices yeah because we want to still get the feel of home and everything so if i had known these are the things that i would have carried food spices get your curry powder get your food that uh kashira that posho that flour mind you all those things are here but i mean our african things hit differently so those are things that i would recommend that you carry everything food please use those 23 kgs to carry your ginats to carry your i don't know cassava carry your pancakes your samosas your sausages your everything that you can fit in that 23 kg bag 
please do because those are the things that you're actually going to need these things shoes all those things are cheap all those things you can get from here cheaply so use your space for things that you actually cannot get here get that troiko get that tea masala get that chai manyas ch chisubi tea all those things because those are things that you are definitely going to need yeah like i say carry all the documents that have your name on them yeah because you are going to need all those things as you apply please have soft copies as well because here unlike unlike back in uganda or wherever you're coming from you don't walk to an office with your documents be like hey you know what no you're going to have to send them, them electronically so make sure you do that as well um so your take home should be all the food spices that you think you need carry those have a valid passport have that yellow envelope that you get from uh the embassy you don't need clothes honestly you do not but carry the things that you're going to need for at least the first three months because at that point you're probably starting to put yourself together and you don't have so much money to go to the stores and everything then don't forget to carry a power bank because you're definitely going to need that um and yeah that's pretty much everything if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section please subscribe to the channel if i've given you a reason to subscribe share the video with somebody else who needs this you know the people out there who might need this and um yeah like the video leave a comment if you can and i will see you in our next video take care Bye-bye.